Ronald Jones is probably definitely going to the NFL. Like, there's a lot of teams who are just pretty much done. Like, they packed in their class. Boise State, they got, like, 19 people, but they're kind of on the up and up because they're getting size and athleticism. More athleticism from California than before and Texas. So, with that, you also... They've always been able to find those conclaves of, like... Three and four star recruits have been overlooked. Yeah, Pre- the Rippin was their first four star and their highest recruit ever. Um, before that, it was a dude who transferred from I think like Georgia or something. Um, but he didn't really pan out at safety. But yeah, Boise State after because they dominated Oregon, which again, which brings me to another point: players deciding not to play in bowl games to prepare for their NFL careers, but still being allowed. On the trip. Like, Royce Freeman, it was huge news. Like, Royce Freeman was talking to the Oregon team, yelling at everybody, trying to get him going. But he wasn't injured at all. He could have played against Boise State. Wouldn't have made much of a difference. Um, Actually, no, it would have, because they only lost by 10. But they were getting smoked most of the game. Um, So, are you going to backtrack on your statements saying that this is the one you respect it? I'm taking this to oblivion. Uh, I totally respect (laughs) this. I called it way back in our touch, our fourth and forever days. Cats are gonna do what's best for them because these teams are definitely you. Let's be honest. Okay, so then I you think- have Chris. Remember, Christian McCaffrey didn't play for Stanford, and everybody made it a big deal. Well, guess what? Bryce Love's probably even better than Chris McCaffrey. So I think how'd that work out? Or like if you, recruit- I think I think that if this is gonna become the new trend, then teams have to just kick the guys out of the program. Yeah, but it's almost like it's disrespectful because it's, that it's, dude it's the same is your thing all-time it's, leading rusher. But it's the same thing as a coach, you know? Like No, it's not because coaches – like, already once, my... you've, once you've already made that commitment, unless you're going to keep playing – Scott Frost. Scott you, don't, Frost you don't hang around the program, though. Scott Frost and his entire staff are coaching UCF's – But they're game. coaching – they're coaching. They're doing their job. That let no. They're not. They're not. They're, they're not supposed to bowl game. They're not hanging around the program and just hanging out on the sideline. But that's they're it. still coaching. They he took a job. What I'm saying while though, he was at another job before the season. But they're was over. still coaching, right? Are they finishing? Is he finishing out his commitment to his team on the season? On um, off morals, yeah. Okay, he already so signed then, with Nebraska. But that's what their I'm saying. Recruiting already but started. That's what I'm saying, though. Is if you're gonna play, then you're gonna play. If not, then you're not part of the team, and you no, move on. No, but a lot of coaches will take another on. job and then say, "Oh, I'm just gonna leave," and help them recruit. But they're like, remember when Cincinnati's coach? Uh, but what I'm saying is, what this player did, he Marvel tried to, play, he tried to, he, they try to play both sides of the fence, and it's like, bro, you're either with us or you're against us. Uh, like I, I get you're doing what you got to do for yourself and your family, and I respect it. Cool. But then they have school love pride. You. I see you at school, but you don't need to travel with the team, and you don't need to be trying to get us riled up, bro. You know damn well. Some of know, the players were like, "Really, bro? Why are you?" You know you would help? be. You know you would be hot, bro. If this dude was trying to yell at you, like, "Come on, online, let's go." Bro, you you would throw hands on him right there on the sideline. He would lose some draft stock points. I'd be like, dog, get out of here. But in this case, in this particular case, he's your all time leading rusher. He's one of the best players in school history. One of the top five, or one of the top ten all time rushers in college football history. Right up there with uh, Joey Arrington. <laughs> Wow, no, he's better than Joey. <laughs> it's disrespectful. You're being disrespectful. Like he has, he has rushing numbers compared. I'm sorry, Lamichael Hers- James. No, he's better than Lamichael. Way better. He has rushing numbers comparable to. I'm sorry, Marshall that, Walker. That that uh, that quarterback who played for the Steelers and didn't do anything. Charlie I Batch. I can't. No, I can't even remember his name anymore. He played for the Steelers and didn't do anything. Cordo Oregon. Stewart. No quarterback. Quarterback. Dennis yeah. Dixon. Yeah, there you go. But he tore his ACL. That's different. Man, Dennis Dix is a sad story. You leave that man alone. He'll pull up on you, too. <laughs> stop, stop, stop it. Because Dennis Dixon was the hottest thing going before he tore his ACL. That was a sad day. But anyway. Yeah, he it's was other schools. young with less arm strength. But, all right. Mm, and less size. No. You're mad because that was actually an accurate comparison. It was actually right. pretty accurate. <laughs> Yeah, the first guy's looking at him, man. 
That that ACL tore, changed him forever. And he's still fast after that, but not as fast. But anyway, uh, you have I watched uh, FIU or FAU Lane Kiffin's team that he pretty much led to the most wins in program history. Uh, let's put a, open up a pool out of that ten year contract. I say he gets to three. I say six. No. Bro, he's going to do six no, years. Bro. Six years. No way. It'll be enough time to restart. No himself. way he does six years, It'll bro. be six years. There'll be a top 15 program or top 25 program, and he'll have no bro, choice. If he, if he takes that program take to a top 15 and he even... Top 25. If he gets him into one of the big bulls... He'll go to... A he's pack. a go. He'll go to Arizona State and then put them in... I'm telling you, man. Kiffin might end up at Arizona State because they... Herm Edwards, Arizona, Oregon State, and Utah currently have the worst recruiting classes out of all the Power Five schools right now. Damn. I mean, yeah, Oregon State, I understand why. Utah, not getting the best transfers like you used to. They're like, eh. It's not like Boise State where you're always going to be inclined to kind of go play on that turf. It's Utah. It's like I could go, I could not go. I don't kind of want to do an LDS mission. Damian Mama didn't do a mission. He went to USC. Probably should have stayed till senior year, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it's it's not just at Oregon. It's at a couple different schools. Um, take a SMU receiver. I think his name is Cortland Sutton or something like that. Uh, he's considered to be a first round pick, and SMU got killed in their bowl game. He still played to the best he could. I mean, they really didn't have any help for him at all. But he played. He went down with the ship with his team. A lot of other guys did too. What I point back to was Cincinnati right when they were about to play Florida. And their head coach at the time took a better job. And everybody was crying. I really wish I could remember Cincinnati's head coach because he's a pretty relevant coach right now. Oh, man. It's pissing me off. It's not Tommy Tuberville. He replaced that guy. But... They'll come back to me. Marty Gilliard and everybody else was like, they were pissed off at the banquet. They're like, how are you just going to take this job on the eve of this bowl game? You could have waited, bro. Like, you knew you was going to take the job. And then they got their doors blown off by Florida. Wasn't it Brian Kelly? Yeah, it was Brian Kelly. He went to Notre yeah, Dame. Notre Dame. It was like a dream job. I was like, hmm. <laughs> how's Brian Kelly doing right now? He actually had a good year. Yeah, I wouldn't call it a good year. Compared to where they were last Compared year. Compared to how bad they got killed. How bad they were last year. They were horrible last year. Yeah, they beat us. Last year was like one of the wor- one of the worst years in a minute for Notre Dame. Yeah, but they had a lot of injuries. But this year it was just like they blew games. And like the hot seat is like, okay, Brian Kelly, you blamed it on all your assistants. You eventually have to realize it's not just you. Check your you. Yeah, and eventually he's like, I did too much fundraising this year. Really, bro? That was one of Brian Kelly's excuses. So, And he got his his face kicked in by Miami. Um, but yeah, in terms of college football, uh, a couple prospects, pretty much. Josh Allen beat the doors off, uh, what's that school? Central Michigan and their bowl game. And they won, and he... Pretty much said I'm declaring for the draft. So he's the kind of consensus number one pick right now until Josh Rosen or Sam Darnold say otherwise. So uh, it's going to be an interesting quarterback class. It really is. And to close this out, uh, I'm tired of people acting like. Let's say Lamar Jackson in Cincinnati. No. Well, I want him to, f- to succeed, not fail. They have plenty of offensive weapons. I want him to succeed, not fail. I'm going to put him in Cincinnati. Marvin Lewis can't hurt him anymore. Did you not hear what Mar- <laughs> Nah, chill. It's, it's Andy, man, I blame Andy Dalton. But no, like... I could see Lamar Jackson being a good fit for... I don't know, like... For at least three teams down the line. But the problem is, he's black. Let's, be, let's just be honest. Because if, if he was white, they would say, 
he has transcendent athleticism. Which you they stole to... from someone on Twitter, but okay. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> yeah, you weren't going to say You were going to Somebody sign said it. if he was white. You weren't going to was... sign it if I didn't call you out. <laughs> yeah. No, the transcendent athleticism was my part. The other part is what that person said. But um, it's true. They hyped up Johnny Manziel as the next biggest thing. In reality, he was like 6'1". Kind of had a strong arm. And Derek Carr was faster than him. Yeah. He actually ran... And taller than he him. Ran a, he ran a slower 40 and than Aaron Donald. And had stats than him. He, okay, we get it. He ran a slower 40 time than Aaron Donald. Slower 10-yard split, too. Um, Aaron Donald's a freak of nature, but still... Which, by the way, thank you, Leonard Williams, for completely destroying Derek Carr's draft stock. And, you know, let him follow the Raiders. Your favorite team. Thanks, Leonard. You realize Mo Wilkinson's pretty much leaving the Jets, and there's a chance he could, he's going to be he's washed. He's not washed. He's washed in, in that. I think he only had like half a sack this year. That's because it's the Jets, and he's tired of playing in that position. You put him in just a D tackle, just let him rush the passer. He just he got some left. But anyway, Lamar Jackson. Just like six, three, Richardson had a two sack and a half this year for Seattle. Bro. Move into the three technique. I mean, you've been, since you've probably never done this, but as someone who has played every position Whoa. along the defensive line okay. in multiple defensive personal. schemes, it's got personal have you played play. nose tackle in a 3 4? No. Okay, then. I played defensive end, nose tackle, head up on the guard, three technique, played every possible position you could think of except right defensive end. Kill I tried that freshman see. year. Yeah, but anyway, it's a di- it's different when you're transitioning schemes because you're No, I got it. You don't have to explain it to me. I understand the difference so between like, the positions on the don't scheme. Don't kill the guy because don't kill Sheldon Richardson because was well, his first time playing in a three in a four three defense since college. He's been in the league for a while. He has to unlearn some things, and he's actually pretty good. I feel like if you give him a full off season. He regained some form. Somehow, like uh, DJ Hayden did. Don't get me started on that. But yeah, Lamar Jackson deserves to be actually considered if he even comes out. All right, so look, let's wrap up this segment. Let's move on to some controversy because the NFL always has controversy. <laughs> Um, this past week, there were a couple of controversial calls. Shot in the dark. First one was the catch ruling in the um, Steelers and Patriots game. Yeah. Jesse James, which, by the way, the rule states, if you catch the ball, a knee equals a knee down equals two feet. And once the ball breaks any part of the plane and it's in your hands, you're down. It's possession. It's a touchdown. So his was a touchdown, but based off the rule, they nitpicked it to where it's not a touchdown. I just don't understand how this keeps happening. Like, why do the they, they why is it the catches. same team who keeps finding themselves in the controversy and the same team always who always gets the benefit of it? I mean, it's the Patriots get the benefit of a lot of different rules. That's just how it works. That's coaching. That's just. How it goes sometimes. But I will say this. Gronkowski does get held every play. But so what? Cleo Mack gets held every he play. He gets held know? by the bulging disc in his back. Wow. <laughs> if he took the brace off, he'd be faster. He'd be more aerodynamic when he runs routes. That's foul. But no, Cleo Mack gets held. Cleo Mack gets held so much even when he's not playing Dwight football. Dwight Howard probably has held. more movement in his back than Rob Gronkowski. Who has more movement in his back? Gronk, who has more movement and feeling in his elbow? Gronk, what has more movement and feeling, Gronk's elbow or LaCharles Bentley's knee? That's your favorite thing to go back to. His knee is You're like, no. Nah, his knee looks like a baby's head. like, head. never forget. His knee <laughs> looks like Charles a gargoyle's Bentley. face. <laughs> never forget. I'm, st- I'm going to give you a t-shirt that says that. Never forget. <laughs> Charles <laughs> Bentley's knee. Never forget which 93 one. 93 on Madden. <laughs> he was like a 94 at his peak. Pro Bowl. First rounder, I think, too. No, he was a second round pick. But. Before 
No, he was a first round pick. I take that back. I know Ohio State. 